So in this video, I'm going to go over how to use a single uh, solid body as stock for multiple faces of a tombstone setup and how to transfer the stock between faces and also um, how to have individual work offsets for each uh, pocket or part location on a face. So I've got my file set up here and we'll just go over a little bit of the geometry setup here. I've, I've got uh, my main pockets or locations are the, the top locations here and then I've just copied these down the jaws and the parts for reference so we can just ignore these for now and what I've done here is I've set up stock around my part this is so this is the stock I'm going to start with and I want to use this stock and transfer it between faces as I work through the process so the first thing I'm going to do is take this part and stock and move it, dynamic transform it to world top, to a location I can understand. And this is going to make more sense in a minute. So if we hide this, and let's hide um, the op one parts, and I have this level 100, which is stock at world top. So I have my part and my stock, and this is top, 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 and I've got the part located basically um, at that face and at the center of this uh, radius. So what we're going to be doing here is establishing a key point that we're going to use as a handle, essentially, as we transform this stock model around the tombstone. So this stock up here is just reference. Um, I'm not actually going to use that in any of these operations. So this is, this is buried in the tombstone and maybe world top is somewhere else in your model, but it doesn't really matter. So, it's, so long as you know the relation of this solid body, which represents the stock, to the world top. Now let's go into planes. We'll turn this back on. And I've got two planes that are going to be related to stock positioning. So I have my OP1 stock plane and OP2 stock plane. And if we look at what those actually are, that is the same key point location that I had that transformed world, stop, uh, world top stock body, um, but it's relative to my setup one. And OP2 stock plane is same key point, same orientation relative to setup two. So these planes are going to be used for the transform of the stock model around the tombstone. They have no bearing on our operations, on our WCS, on our tool plane, etc. They are purely created um, for the stock transform and they exist only, only for that. They're not used in anything else. So my very first operation here is a stock model. And if I turn that on, you can see it's, it's correctly oriented around my part. Uh, but how did I get that? My initial stock shape is that level 100 body at world top. So this is the stock body that is driving everything in this file. So I've taken that body at world top and then I've transformed it using my stock plane selection here. So what this is doing is basically um, using the transformation matrix delta between world top and op1 stock plane, which you can see higher up. So if I just, if I change this stock plane back to top, um, like you probably do in single part programming, and I generate it, it's, it's generated down here, right? But choosing a stock plane here is applying a transformation to the solid body from world top coordinates to wherever the stock plane uh, origin is. So that's, that's why we're choosing that key point and relating <coughs> everything to that key point at world top and then transforming it around the, the tombstone. 
So here's my OP1 stock plane. And I'll just regenerate that OptiRef. So now I have my stock model at OP1. And I have my OptiRef doing OP1. And also, notice that the WCS for the OptiRef is OP1 WCS. So it has no bearing on the stock plane orientation. So here's stock plane, and here's my OP1 WCS, which is just the top left corner of the stock. So that key point that I'm choosing um, as a reference to rotate around my stock bodies um, does not have to be the WCS of the, the operations. So now that I've got that done, I'm just going to uh, do a simple toolpath transform uh, 8 inches in the Y and tag two more pockets here. And if you look in the transform, I'm assigning new um, origins. So this will start at G55 and increment up. So this pocket or this location, G54, 55, 56. Um, so you can establish separate um, origins on a tombstone and shift them around separately. So how do we get this stock model cut and over to the next side of the tombstone? First, we're going to generate a resultant. So this is going to be the same um, stock model plane choice as the initial stock model, and we're just going to apply Operation 2. To it. So this is our resultant from OP1. Now, to transform this stock model to the other face of the tombstone, we're going to make another stock model operation, and we're going to change the stock plane to OP2 stock plane. So we're applying the, the transformation matrix between OP1 stock plane and OP2. And there it is. And again, that's all done through just these two plane setups here. So we're just taking that, that key point at the, the center of this feature at the face of the part and using that as a handle to transform it around the tombstone. And for OP2, this is just a dynamic opti rest based on this OP2 stock model. And we face off the remaining material. And the WCS for this is OP2 WCS. So this happens to be just the front corner of my jaw, my upper jaw here. And then this starts out as um, a G57 origin. And then again, I do a simple transform down 58, 59. So these are all separate origin setups at the control. So all of this is tied back to my single stock model on level 100. So if I edit this body, if I model prep, push pull the face out, if I ever change the stock, all of those operations will update accordingly. So let's generate this stock model. So you can see that updated my first side. I'll regenerate that operation. Now we're moving much more material. We got some crazy linking moves there too um, because of our boundary conditions. Um, but if I regenerate OP4 stock model, There's my resultant, and then the op5 transforms it to the next face of the part, or the tombstone. Um, so yeah, the, the key here is to draw the stock and part at world top, and then start shifting it around and making your stock-specific planes based on that key point. So I hope.